feasible, reasonable, rational. These are the words, the vocabulary of people who have stopped dreaming. These are people who have not only grown up, but they are growing old. Hi, my name is Ken Berkey. Welcome to Monday Devotionals. I want to talk just for a few moments about uh, what I spoke on yesterday on my Sunday message about God's desire for us to have childlike faith, to dream big, to not listen to our critics, but to know that he will not only finish the work that he started in us, but that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. There's this story recorded in the Gospel of Mark where the disciples have grown old. They've stopped having this childlike faith, in fact, so much that they discount children. And so Jesus, with a not-so-gentle rebuke, reminds the disciples that God's kingdom is built on the wonder and the faith and the thinking and the mindset of children. It's recorded in Mark 10. It says the people brought children to Jesus, hoping he might reach out to them and bless them. The disciples shooed the children off. We don't have time for this nonsense. But Jesus was irate and let them know it. Don't push these children away. Don't ever get between them and me. These children are at the very center of life. The very center of life in the kingdom. He says, unless you accept God's kingdom in the simplicity of a child, you'll never get in. Then gathering the children up in his arms, he laid his hands on them and he blessed them. My hope and my challenge from the message yesterday and the blog that I'm going to release tomorrow on Tuesday and from this, this short time here on Monday is that we would all be inspired by those words of Art Linkletter where he said, it's okay to grow up, but don't grow old. The kingdom, the kingdom is filled with childlike faith, childlike dreams, childlike wonder. Our challenge is to fight the critics and the comparisons in our lives that stop us from dreaming. And let's commit our lives. Live 58. Wherever you're at watching this, let's commit our lives to emulate the wonder of a child. I love this. As the great Russian novelist said, the soul is healed by being with children. And I would say the soul is healed by being childlike. I shared this in my message yesterday, but a few years ago, I was getting on another plane for the hundredth time, it seemed, and I was tired of traveling, no longer in awe that a plane could get me from New York City to California in less than five hours. I was tired. I dropped my weary bones into my much too crowded seat, hoping that no one would sit next to me so that I didn't have to be social. As I was settling in, my earbuds in my ear, listening to music, I began to observe a little girl across the aisle who was probably around four years old. Her nose was pressed against the window, overwhelmed by her new adventure. She was bouncing up and down, not able to sit still because she was going on a plane. Even with my earbuds in, I could hear her infectious giggling as her senses were on overload. At that moment, I had realized I had grown old. I thought about that scripture from Mark 10, that really in the world that we live in, a world that's filled with fear and cynicism, God continues to ask us to build his kingdom by being childlike, to have childlike wonder. Then I remembered what G.K. Chesterton, the great the theologist and philosopher, had said about the childlike wonder of God. Let me close with this. Let me, let me, let me read you what he wrote. I want to be more like this. And I pray we would all be more like this. He said, because children have abounding vitality, because they are, in, they are in spirit, fierce and free. This is like children. Therefore, they want things repeated and unchanged. They always say, do it again, do it again. And the grown up person does it again until they are nearly dead. For grown up people, are not strong enough to exult in the monotony of a child. But perhaps God is strong enough to exult in monotony. It is possible that God says every morning, do it again to the sun, and every evening, do it again to the moon. 
It may not be automatic necessity that, that, that makes all daisies alike. It may be that God makes every daisy separately, but has never got tired of making them. It may be that he has an eternal appetite of infancy. And then he says this line, which is the title of my blog tomorrow. For, for we have sinned and grown old, and here's, here's, here's the line, and our father is younger than we. When Jesus says, have childlike faith, when, when Art Linkletter says, you can grow up, but don't grow old, it's because God still has a childlike heart, a childlike faith, a childlike enthusiasm. Our father is younger than we. So my encouragement to you and my challenge to me this week is be childlike in curiosity, in wonder, in faith, in joy, in love. I challenge you to do that. Hey, have a great week, everyone. And uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll, we'll release the blog that goes into even more detail about what we're talking about. If you didn't see the message yesterday, uh, watch the message on Facebook or YouTube where we, we even unpack this more about this childlike faith that allows us to fulfill that scripture where Paul says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Have a great week, everyone. Talk to you soon.